Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be painting the Far Striders from the Warhammer Underworlds playset, and we're going to be doing this with a custom paint job. So I started things off by applying a little bit of sand to the base, and now we're going to follow it up with a one-to-one -one mix of metallic silver and metallic black. This is going to give it a nice kind of deep metallic gray appearance, and we're going to apply it to all of the armored sections on the model. I wanted kind of a darker look for this model because the Forest Riders are supposed to be kind of like a advanced reconnaissance team or scouting group or a group that strikes behind enemy lines within the Stormcast. So I thought that having a darker armor appearance would kind of fit their aesthetic a little bit more. Next, we're going to use some raw umber, and this is going to go over all of the sand on the base. Now we're going to use some Citadel Wraith Bone, and this is going to do just a couple of little touch-up areas uh, so that I can achieve a very specific kind of color effect later on. And also to help clean up some edges and any little bits of spillover. Now we're going to use some Gore Grunt of Fur, and this is going to go over the outside section of the fur cloak on his back. Now because I don't want to go over the model again and again and again with touch-up paint, I'm being very cautious to only get it on the fur cloak and not anything else. Now we're going to use some Blood Angels Red, and I'm doing kind of a medium to heavy coat on the tassels on the front and back of the model, as well as the inside of the cloak. This will give a nice kind of color accent to the model that isn't dark like the rest of the armor sections. Now we're going to use some Griff Charger Gray, and this is going to be painted over uh, the entirety of the bird on his shoulder. Now using some metallic black, I'm going to paint over uh, all of the kind of metallic-ish sections of the uh, kind of crossbow handgun. Now using some Retributor armor, I'm going to highlight all of the armored sections. Now I'm doing this in a fairly specific pattern. Uh, the top section of each of the armor plates is going to get a highlight whenever it's reasonably possible to do so. And then some of the areas are going to get a very, very light dry brush of the gold, and some areas are going to get a uh, highlight on the lower section of the armor. 
This is going to just kind of help bring out a lot of the areas of the model and really just kind of highlight the armor. And then we're going to do a edge highlight of all of the raised areas on the uh, crossbow pistol. And as you can see, the gold is a very, very strong contrast to the dark of the armor and really just kind of helps the model pop out. And there's a couple of little embellishments on the cloak, so I'm just doing a quick uh, light touch of those with the Retributor armor as well to give it a nice little pop against the red. Now I'm going to use some Artist Loft Copper to paint the uh, bow section of the crossbow. Once we're done with the crossbow, we're going to use the copper to pick out a couple of little details on the rest of the model. We're going to use it to paint the uh, hand grip of his axe as well as part of his belt. Then using a mix of silver and copper, we're going to paint over the actual blade section of his axe. And then we'll follow everything up with a light to medium coating of wildwood on the tree trunk that he's standing on. Now using some bronze, we're going to do a kind of a mix between an overbrush and a dry brush of his faceplate and part of the uh, lower section of the chest plate. Now using some silicanum gray, we're going to go over the blade section of his axe just to kind of darken up the metallic hues. And then do a kind of medium dry brush of silver over the crossbow section of the pistol, as well as a medium to light dry brush over the rest of the armor, just to give it a nice little shine. Now using some neutral gray, I'm going to do a light dry brush over the outer sections of the cloak, as well as all of the feathers on the bird. Now using some burnt sienna, I'm doing a uh, kind of medium dry brush over all of the sand. and then follow it up with raw sienna, and that will finish off the base. Now going back to the Basilicanum Gray, we're going to paint over this kind of runestone uh, pyramid here to give it a the foundation of a nice uh, rocky texture. And then we'll also paint over the crossbow. Now the eagle turned out to be a little bit uh, more pale than I wanted, so we're going to go over it with Griffhound Orange, and then we'll follow it up with a couple of dry brushes to kind of even out the coloration. Using a little bit of yellow ochre, we're going to paint over all of the eagle's talons. Then using some Agrax Earthshade, we'll do a coating of the uh, tree trunk as well as the rune stone and the cloak. So 
So I'm painting over the feathers of the bird now because this will give a nice kind of shadow definition once we do the dry brush. Now using some null oil, we'll paint over all of the metallic armored sections, and this will just kind of help deepen all of the shadows. But we'll still see that nice little metallic shine from the armor itself, as well as the previous dry brushing. And we'll finish everything off with a light dry brushing of neutral gray on the back of the eagle. All right, and here we are with the finished piece. This is the entire team for Warcry Underworlds. They were a lot of fun to paint, and I look forward to collecting the rest of the Underworld sets and painting them for you here on the channel. So please, everyone, hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section. I do respond to all comments, and we will see you next episode.